Transport planning's gone through quite a shift over the last 50 years. In the 1960s, it was heavily focused on retrofitting the city to the car uh, and building new freeway systems and other things to, to allow unfettered car movement in the city. And, and the planners at the time thought they were doing the right thing. We thought that would be the city of the future. But the contradictions of that model became apparent and we, we found we couldn't build ourselves out of congestion. Um, every time we opened up more space for cars, more cars appeared. We created one of the most car-dominated societies on the planet. Uh, we removed, we euthanized cycling from the streets. You know, we now have the lowest mode share for cycling, equal with the, the, the US, um, at 1% of all trips being made by bike. Um, you know, we made a lot of errors. So now we've moved into an era where we're trying to address that. Uh, so planners are now looking to how we can encourage people to get on bikes, to walk more, to use public transport. How can we make our public transport more efficient? And with the road space that we do have, how can we make better use of it to cure congestion, not necessarily by building extra freeways, but by managing that road space with intelligent systems, with better information to drivers, with better response to incidents when they happen, uh, when crashes and other things, breakdowns happen on the network. Um, with sequencing of lights, with, with ramp metering, so you, you better the flow of vehicles onto the highway so that it's a smoother flow. And if we can do that, we can save billions of dollars in deferred investment by making better use of our assets. What I'm interested in as well is what can we do with land use? So how can we change land use to improve that? Uh, where do we put jobs in the city? And can that help smooth out our traffic flows? And, and you know, we have this tidal flow of workers that, that flow into Brisbane in the morning, all trying to get to just a very small space, a very small peninsula of, of the river. Um, and then this massive tidal flow out in the afternoons. And it doesn't matter, matter what mode you're on, you know, you're going to be in congestion. And um, maybe there's ways we can reconfigure the city over the long term to make that 